Hey guys, it's here. Welcome to this Hall of Fame interview, and I'm here with uh, Shanti Swaroop and Meera. They are in the space of uh, you know early childhood education, and Shanti Swaroop is a child psychologist. They came into our community back in 2020 January, and they have been able to achieve over 13 lakhs in the last 10 months by implementing the systems over here. They are running a community called Happy Family. and uh, which i'm very curious to know what that's all about with over 200 paid students in the community uh, they based out of warangal and they are a part of the avengers hive diamond groups so all of you avengers cheer up for your fellow member and congratulations to both of you shanti swarup and meera great to interview you in this hall of fame uh, you know segment over here thank you thank you thank you sida then we're really happy happy to meet you i've been waiting for this day for so long and yes you know like, now we could like meet like a you. dream come true moment for us today thank you no for me it's it's amazing to see uh, you know both of you achieve this milestone in a topic like this and you said you're a homeschooling your kids uh, your your child also uh, so before we get into this uh, like how did you get into this space of uh, you know working with children and things like that tell us about that background yeah uh, I, i'm basically a teacher my father started a school long back you know it's nice. he, still he's running a school so i got into this teaching and then i got interested in psychology so i did my pg in psychology and somewhere when we got married and when we had kids we thought that you know this simple psychology is not enough so we have to go deeper into child psychology to tackle and understand issues nice so that's where we started going deeper into child psychology we are specialized in a concept called adlerian psychology okay that, mm. that's the specialization actually yeah. so then then we started implementing those concepts in our school first then we thought there is a need uh, for this such kind of program you know so that we can design training programs on child psychology how can how can a teacher or a parent understand a child and yeah. you know uh, solve those behavioral issues so that's where we started designing workshops for teachers and parents so that it's all started way back in 2016 if i'm not wrong no that's got it and that oh, is nice. that's where we got into this and then um, meera like you can yeah uh, basically i am in, into education after my okay. plus two i did a teacher training program in mirambika it's in shorbindo ashram new delhi okay uh, it's based on the philosophy of uh, shorbindo and the mother integral education philosophy we call it i Wonderful. did three years teacher training there and i worked in various alternate schools across india and later i met this amazing guy he married <laughs> got settled in hyderabad nice so i was working at the school taking care of the school and all uh, but uh, i was feeling like i shouldn't be limited to this locality itself there was always an urge that okay whatever i know about education there are many people whom i do have to share that urge was there but i didn't know how to so when we saw your uh, webinar and uh, he came to hyderabad He attended yeah. one session. Now uh, maybe in February, I think Jan. Or yeah, uh, I mean, like this was there at the back of our mind that he yes. you know, was into early childhood education. I was into child psychology. We should do something, and we were starting doing that here and there, doing that. But I have attended your live uh, session in Hyderabad actually, in twenty nineteen December. Or yeah, October, I think know. with D- Dr. D Martini had come there. I remember. Yes. No, no, digital marketers. I mean, like, DMC. On, okay, uh, on you might have been there. Uh-huh. Mm. So that was where I I was in that live session. so i got connected so i thought i should do something like that so within 2 3 months this covid hit and all the training stopped actually so <laughs> we should do something online then we got into your community community and started you know, working on this stuff parenting is that's what we we have chosen yes. with parenting the other is uh, we started with parenting actually hmm. uh, i mean like uh, march 2020 march was covid and then that's when we all started and june we launched this parenting program Okay, okay. June. That's why we launched the parenting program. But to be honest, it was not like structured. The, the, mm. What what you say, you know, like you know, it was not structured like that, and there was no website. Uh, I mean, like uh, we were kind of desperate actually, Siddhar. You know, we have to okay. make money. That COVID situation somehow yes. have to make money, mm. and uh, out of desperation, we started actually. So it like it's kind of simultaneous. We were running ads, and we <laughs> we were creating content. night we were creating content morning we were running ads and weekly to uh, uh, i mean like Webinar. webinars you know like that so we did it for 3 uh, 4 months 3 4 months then we saw this need like you know uh, the schools were not opening again on after june it was not opening yes and the uh, schools were doing this online um, um, online classes and all but it was difficult for all the schools 
to do online sessions for the early childhood preschoolers it was not correct mm. so we saw that that there's a need there so she jumped in and then she started creating her own uh, courses on early childhood uh, education fantastic and so fantastic. we have put that at the front end Mm. that early childhood uh, we, uh, we that we called uh, it early years home learning ha uh, early years home learning that early years it. home learning okay uh, nice yeah. early mm. years home learning that was at the front end actually okay. she started doing uh, webinars on that every week mm. that's mm. there and once they uh, come into our community we started selling our parenting program uh, to got them. it got well, it mm. just like that that's how we structured and some of it went on for uh, uh, till 2021 i think so yeah till okay. <laughs> july Oh, but uh, we it was like very hectic for us because uh, we didn't take time to prepare that system. We yes. just directly jumped into it. We got the program and directly we started implementing it. Uh, so what had happened was uh, as Shanti said, we were simultaneously. I was preparing the content as well. Mine was okay. a theme based content where every month I was delivering some fifty sixty activity ideas for parents, which they can readily pick it up and do it with their children. so preparing yes. that uh, preparing that on a regular basis and uh, and also like during covid it would have been everybody all the kids are at home it would have been like the hot thing all the parents wanted to do something for the kids especially yeah. early early uh, education yeah yeah so so we were very tired by the end of one year <laughs> <laughs> we got really tired and we really needed a pause actually so we just paused the ad we paused doing the webinars and then that's when we took some time I was doing some organic, uh, organically. I was doing one to one session. Okay. Okay. And there were some uh, subscriptions happening, hmm. uh, but we took a pause, and that is when we wanted to again start afresh with a new hmm. branding, with the website, with all systems built as per what you have told L one, L two, L three. So we are still working on it, and we are soon to launch again. Fantastic. You know, even see, I, I like to tell this to all the students is that uh, you know, money loves speed. you know when you took action with speed even if it is imperfect with not all the systems in place but still you created the financial results so that's that's amazing and you were able to create an impact of reaching out to 200 plus uh, students in your community yeah. so it's it's great to know about your background so coming from the offline world working in schools to completely now adapting and coming to the online uh, side of things uh, what do you think are the top 3 like major uh, shifts you experienced uh, after coming to ilh uh, we'll start with uh, with mira and then we'll come to shanti like what are your top each one of you may have your top 3 what are your top 3 uh, top 3 shifts uh, the first one was like uh, this digital world it was very new for me so yeah. initially like i was used to speaking to people who are live in front of me but now in front of a camera where there are like nobody is there but still i have to speak that was yes. challenging for me initially and she, and she didn't record any videos actually okay all live okay <laughs> i am still very video shy person so i have all my content delivered in a pdf and audio format <laughs> okay okay <laughs> and my parents nice. love it because they say like your voice that's enough for us and we okay. can we can just watch it and listen and no, listen by voice listen and do it mm. but now now i've taken it as a challenge i'm working that 30 day video challenge what you have told excellent the last hackathon i am starting it i've prepared everything the 100 questions are ready <laughs> yes wonderful so the first shift you know the digital world and the second shift what i experienced was like uh, earlier i was like uh, maybe in 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 my community like in warangal this place i was limited but suddenly i found like as if a vast vastness has opened in front of me yes. i reach out to any audience anywhere and uh, surprisingly in my community also i got parents from across india different states even nooks and corners villages and it was amazing to connect to them that way wonderful and, uh, mm. the love that i received from them once i started mm. finding it that was the second shift and of course uh, the third shift was uh, your uh, inspiration is that i have to tell you like that Thank hackathon mm-hmm. i joined somewhere in march i have to say it completely okay. shifted my mentality like i was i was like very much uh, uh, not confident about myself i was thinking there are so many players around in early childhood education mm. how would i be making a difference what would mm. i there was this yes. big giant like clinto class and all Uh, mm. Selling their product simultaneously, what I was doing, 
uh, but the one thing that you said, you know, like people buy you before they buy the product. Yes. That that uh, that struck me hard, and I started working on myself every day, learning mm. and uh, like giving my best. And I stood for some values in my products, like the mm. value that I had was uh, whatever I deliver, it should be child centered. Correct. Mm. Open ended for children, which develops mm. their independent thinking skills. Mm. So these were the values that I was like, I was holding on to tight. Like focusing okay. on the process than the product while working. Very good. Mm. So these mm. were some of the things which my parents connected. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, Great, that, that lesson was amazing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage to do it. Yeah. Fantastic. So the digital part, the community part, and then the aspect of uh, you know the system, the making uh, like a community-centered, uh, uh, I mean results, like child-centered, not and process-driven. Fantastic. And what about you, Shanti sir? What is what has been your uh, three major shifts? I mean, if I can say that, if I can point out one major uh, shift is like the learning part. You know, you know, I I feel that everything is there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like whatever question I have, whatever uh, whatever problem I face, I just uh, stop there, pause there, and go back to the uh, your videos and community, and go back into some course, and I'll find an answer. And okay. especially the uh, um, freedom meetups, actually, I mean, like yes. our uh, leaders, those who are taking sessions. Yes. I mean, like when my ads are stuck, I used to go to that freedom meetups and see what they said and all. Correct. And I had all those things mm. that actually added a lot of value. Actually, I mean, like mm. huge content. So it's like, I feel like everything is there. All answers are there. Only thing is I have to go back and then see and, you know, take it and then implement it. So it was Correct. like that. Mm. My, uh, my learning part, if I had to say learning part, my first three months were I actually, I immersed into your uh, courses actually. Day and night, I used to go through that, do videos and make notes, make notes, and uh, and uh, uh, start doing something. January to March, he was missing from our life. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I got very curious, what is he actually mm. doing? That's why I started watching your videos. <laughs> and that's how she got connected, actually. I mean, like, she got that, you know, what is it that you're watching all the time, uh, this guy, you know, like, you know, and from, from then again, she started watching your videos also. That's how she got connected. That's how both of us could come up with their own, our own courses, actually. Fantastic. Both of mm. us could come up with our own courses, which are again connected to the same community. Yes. Yes. That's who happened. I mean, like, that's something fantastic. Has done. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> so you, uh, uh, so when it comes to technology and tools and uh, things like that, was it new to you, uh, Shanti Swaroop, for you, like, to set up all these things? E even now it is new. I could do okay. it because of her, actually. Okay, okay. Some problem mm. happens in the landing page, I leave to her and then I'll just sit quiet. So okay, so, my... so Meera, you're the tech uh, yeah, wizard tech uh, between tech both person. of you. I used to write the content and all those things is my job, actually. You know, that's how it's doing. Right? Okay. Add copy, everything, Add copy, yeah. job. And I Excellent. After the so, so, Meera, you tell me, what are the list of uh, tools you can fly on now, which you're independently able to manage? Uh, like, right now, I can say automation. Like, in automation, making a landing page and then uh, setting up to sending automated emails. Emails, that yeah. Come. And uh, these are these are the two things which I feel like have helped me a lot. We actually excellent, could excellent. make mm. it very very meager things. Uh, Siddharth. one is Zoom. Yeah. There is uh, I mean like get response. Yeah. Get response teachable. These are the three basic things that yes. we the show on. Fourth is Facebook ads. That's all. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. That's. You know that how has that really shifted your uh, perspective now? You know, being from a point in the offline dealing with schools, and now you've gained the new skills now, and you're able to now see the results also, like doing online. Like how, what what has shifted in you more from a perspective of uh, yeah how you how you view the business and how you view the what you're doing? Right. I mean, like I I was sharing with my wife last time, and like. We stopped for almost a year. Now we restarted again, just uh, June, last week of yes. June. We started running our ads again. In July, we started running our ads again and started uh, making money also, started doing that. So I, I was sharing with uh, Mira that, you know, like after joining this, all the ILH and all everything, now I feel that, see, even, even if I lose everything in my life, even if I fall flat, no, I can stand back up, you know, just go to the community, go through the steps, what is given by Siddharth Rajshekar, and then I can, I can build my life again. It's not a life, you know, build an empire, you know, that, that much is there in the community, actually. 
so i i told mira like no you know that is kind of that's a shift happened uh, in me and uh, that's something fantastic isn't it and now earlier we were actually worrying like you know what next how can we make money but now even today morning we were discussing that thing called you know how to make money has has gone out of our mind that's gone mm. so we feel that we can generate money whenever we want it's only thing is you know go through that uh, course and do it and do it consistently that's all yes yes <laughs> that yes. shift has happened in us and and for that i'm i'm we are really indebted to you uh, siddharth and for creating thank you. such a wonderful community thank you very yeah. much thanks so much. no thank you and you, know, you both are educators you're coming from the uh, from you know the you've been running the schools and stuff is there in your family and i'm so glad that uh, you were able to take this and you know impact more children and they are the future of our uh, of our country and you're working at that grassroots level so i'm very honored to have people like you in this community who is working on that area uh, how does it feel mira for you like now you're building uh, communities now, before you might have just been teaching or giving the knowledge but now you're building a tribe how has that uh, impacted you um i i have to say initially i i like you used to tell build an ecosystem but i never understood the the meaning of it until i started getting some few parents and who started implementing it after a month or two when they started getting back to me and the interactions in the telegram group started uh, that is when i i i got to see the magic i got to see the way each one was helping each other the way each one felt related to one goal together we are working for our children that is how the parents felt and uh, that was one major shift the second shift what happened is like because of covid the uh, children were stuck at home they weren't able to meet each other and go out and meet other friends so we thought to do weekly ones children's meet ups kids meet ups we started and a uh, few few months i started doing it and then there were parents who themselves they started telling that we would like to volunteer and uh, we almost did this meet up for one year and parents were volunteering every week they were doing activities engaging children and uh, like now it's like the parents are there are few parents at least out of the 200 i can say there are some 50 60 parents who are like a family now so that is the magic of community and now i understood what that ecosystem you are talking about <laughs> you are muted uh, yeah that lifts a lot of uh, burden off your shoulder you can just give it to somebody else. and they are actually driving it's more like a family now it's a yeah. family that's coming together yeah amazing that's that great to know this is they belong to the belongingness that mm. uh, that community to our the the members each other that is something amazing that result the love yes. from children from the parents that i receive every time amazing. something nice happens a new development they see in their child mm. video mm. wow that is like amazing another Fantastic. kind of satisfaction which money cannot give you <laughs> it cannot buy you know once you have that community you wake up every morning what can you do for them what can you do more so you're always in that mode uh, the other question i want to ask uh, you know shanti swarup for you is the sales uh, i know you might have not done webinar selling and you know like that formula how did that uh, how how was that learning curve for both of you No, I did it for uh, two months. Uh, two for months. the first two okay. months, it was parenting. Were you you were confident in selling? That's yes, no yes. problem. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you didn't have any challenge there. I okay. I had a challenge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so who does the sales now between both of you? Both of you have your own independent funnels, right? Bringing into this. Yeah, but we started just now, twenty uh, twenty. Now, now you're restarting with the this one. Yeah. Okay. Got now it. We got restarted. It. We restarted actually with mm. teacher training programs. Okay. Because this is mm. a teacher training season, so okay. we just we just thought let us test it once and see. Mm. So mm. what is happening now is now we are there are so many schools which are uh, connecting to us, yeah, and they are asking teacher training programs and we are doing twice in a month actually. Very good, very good. From there we are connecting to schools and from there we are connecting to parents again. Very nice. So it's kind of a connection. So it's a connection. I, no, that, that teacher that leads to more parents. More parents mm. and all. So I I I feel that you know maybe I can go through this line for some time and then see how it works. Instead nice. of running ads to parents straight away, this route may may give me more. Yeah, there's more leverage here for sure. Yeah. Especially you know they are with their teachers. So what's your monthly averaging? Uh, what are you doing now? You're doing a lakh, two lakhs a month now with this uh, model, re re relaunched model. 
I mean, we launched, we could, uh, we were nearly 1 lakh rupees, right, Mira? And we nice. spent uh, 20,000 on uh, Facebook on ads. ads. And, so you're doing uh, four, four to five X in a month. Okay. Uh, so nice. we, we reached 1 lakh there. Mm, wonderful. Itself, wonderful. That's, got, uh, that's, that's, that's how we thought that, okay, fine, second month we can go two and three, you know, that confidence yeah. has built up. Yeah, now the proof of uh, concept is there. So you just need to scale. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. now the thing is, uh, we have joined, especially when you gave the offer, we thought we have picked up money from everywhere and then we joined the <laughs> membership. Mm. First, that's the first thing. Then we both decided that we have to hit uh, one crore and then yeah. we should uh, have an interview with Siddharth Rajshekar. But somehow mm. it happened so fast. No, it's, it's better we do it faster. Yeah. So this <laughs> journey is very important for even the new people. One crore, it's like, yeah, everybody, you know, once you achieve it, there's a lot you can say. But uh, that crossing that first three lakh, five lakh is usually the toughest for people. And I wanted to, that's why the Hall of Fame, to capture that moment. And I'm sure you went through, you know, a lot. So what, what do you think were your top, uh, you know, three challenges you faced and how did you overcome that? Uh, I'll have to say like my first challenge was selling actually. Mm -hmm. so, like I used to do amazing webinars, but by the time I have to do sales pitch, it was like I used to get all jittery. Or Nervous. <laughs> Mm. Somehow I wasn't that, uh, I should say there were some blocks in me and I'm still working on them. And uh, mm. that is uh, that learning, you know, that learning curve towards yes. uh, feeling good about selling. Correct. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. That is something that I'm yet to feel, yet to feel fully. There mm. is still a little bit of fear, a little bit of like, oh, I have to ask money now. Mm. So that was there. But I'm still working on it and um, I'm sure like very fast and I will be out. You'll pick it up. Yeah. And when you see the community growing, that confidence will come in for sure. Yes. yes. And what else? Any other, what are the other two challenges? I, I yeah. could say two things, uh, two things that, that uh, come to my mind Siddharth, right now. One, one is one challenge or one mistake I would say is we were not, uh, I mean, like structured actually. We were okay. actually, we were not obedient to you. <laughs> I mean, like, mm. not for, <laughs> Not following what you said. And mm. that was clearly visible. Eventually, we stopped at some point of time. So mm. that's one thing. Second, our belief system was not strong at that point. If, if okay. something is working, how can we make quick money? How can we make, make quick, quick money? And mm. one, two, two consecutive uh, webinars, we couldn't make any sale. I was thinking of some other program. So mm. I launched an anger management program for kids so that you know quickly mm. we can do that. Mm. So that's an, another mistake that uh, I did actually. Now yes. when, I, when I look back, you know, you people say that you can connect the dots, right? Dots. Mm. So, so these are the two major mistakes that I did, um, and now we are rectifying that properly. We want to structure the course, and properly that's we want to stick to it and be consistent and do that. And I'm pretty mm. much sure that you know we will be really successful and meet you after. For that. sure, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. That's uh, great to know. So all of you here uh, watching, if you're inspired by this interview, uh, just share your love and wishes to Shanti Swaroop and Meera for really launching this, helping a lot of kids. And what were your big learnings? You can share that also below in the comment box. If you'd like to know more about what they do, uh, there's a link in the description on YouTube. You can go and check it out. And uh, this question I'd like to ask at the end, you know, the one thing, and I'll ask both of you, what is your one success principle that you've lived by and you'll continue to live by for the rest of your life? Uh, that can really make a difference in others. So I'll start with uh, Shanti Swaroop with you. What is your one success principle you'd like to share? Consistency. Mm. That's my success and failure principle as well. Mm. So consistent, you know, like if I could be consistent, do something, you know, every single day, yes. uh, eventually I'll reach there and there is no doubt about it. Mm. That, that's what I, I live by. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. And Meera, what about you? Uh, my success principle is be a learner. Like mm. look at the learning side in every challenge and every uh, success that you see. Failure yes, and success, yes. look at the learning point and keep mm. learning, keep moving on. It's like, I feel like jump in the water. Eventually you will know how to flap and how to start swimming. Take yes, yes. Leap of faith, be a learner always. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Those are powerful principles. Be consistent and be a learner and you can always move and grow. So all of you, I hope all of you noted that down. So if you'd like to be a part of the Internet Lifestyle Hub, there's a link uh, in our YouTube description or below. You can actually join our community. We are over 15,000 members and growing. And uh, we'd love to have you to be a part of this big family that we have. And once again, uh, Shanti Swaroop and Meera wish you both all the best. 
waiting to get you in the crore club to interview when you cross that crore mark you'll get there very very fast from what i can see and uh, yeah i just wanted to thank you for what you do because this work that you're doing even though it may be 200 people once it starts to go to 2000 or say 20000 over the next 3 to 5 years uh, the ripple effect of the work that you're doing uh, you won't be able to measure so you're really going to leave a mark on this planet and i want to acknowledge that thank you so much for what you do have one or two questions <laughs> yes yes 